what is up guys and welcome to another video in today's video we are going to be talking about the surprise or shadow patch that is going to come today in of patch 9.0.1 and this is similarly if you remember the patch for a small battlefield uh like a month ago i think at this point where they kind of shadow released they suddenly released a uh, small battlefield stage and they did some other things to the game this is kind of like it it's not adding a new character or anything the only thing that they're going to be changing are they said that they're going to change some character balance stuff so i wanted to make this video to talk about what i think they will do and what i think this patch entails but before we start today's video please subscribe down below it really helps out the channel it's quick and you can always unsubscribe if you want so without further ado let's start talking about what i think they'll include in 9.0.1 the first thing that I think should be said is that this probably will not be a full regular patch with balance changes for over 20 characters or more. I'm expecting this to be a patch for things that they have only seen like I think this is going to be where they're going to be fixing a lot of glitches. For example, there have been a lot of things that people have found with Steve for example, if you've seen the clip where you place two blocks and then Samus does like a jab or something and then you fall through the stage they'll probably fix that obviously they don't want to keep that in the game for long um, it has no real viability it's just a glitch so they will probably patch that out um, anything else with Steve I feel like this patch is going to be addressing especially since if you guys didn't know um, in the direct Sakurai mentions having to change every stage to work for Steve but at the same time they said that nothing else would be changed but actually some people have tested it out and on Yoshi's story even though nothing was changed about the platform heights or clouds or cloud or Samus's up B height um, if you try to up B with either of those characters you can no longer up B to the top platform for some reason this obviously has to do with the changes that they made to the stage from Steve it was definitely an unintended stage since they did not say that their up B heights were getting changed at all so I'm assuming that they're going to fix that um, something else that they could fix about Steve if they ever if they feel like any of his moves are actually like overpowered like I would say that they might even reduce the knockback on minecart if you, you have I played Steve for like a solid three straight days and got an, an elite smash and yeah power rails especially when you have gold golden power rails are one of the best moves in the game and the thing about them is that you basically have unlimited uses for them as long as you have one iron you can use them as many times as you want and even if you miss the actual hitbox you just let you just jump out of it and you get a command grab that can send your opponents off the stage which is just a very very good move it doesn't even and it has no limitations so i could see them say maybe reducing the knockback that uh, the actual minecart hit does so it doesn't kill at like 80 percent or something on lightweights or even midweight characters i could see them making it cost two iron instead of just one to make it a little more expensive to use so you actually have to think about it before using it um, I could see them maybe changing the actual invincibility you get because obviously you've probably seen the clip of Steve uh, stalling off the ledge with down B and it actually refreshes his invincibility which is going to cause ledge stalling which people have already started to talk about. I don't think it'll be a super big issue um, but there is concern for ledge stalling being allowed and having to create a ledge stall limit obviously that is not a problem with any other character in the game but now that steve can actually refresh his invincibility on ledge with blocks and minecart and down b um, i'm assuming that they will probably change something like that um, there is possibility that they will change an actual fighters in this patch and i really hope they do because i think i really like even though a lot of people didn't like this patch i like the direction that they're going they buffed a lot of characters that needed it like lucario and simon and um sonic didn't need it at all ness did not need it at all but i'm still happy that other characters are getting the attention that they need um i have one wish if they are going to actually buff characters i've been playing a lot of ddd lately and he did get buffs a few patches ago but there is a specific move that really really needs a buff and that is his, is his forward tilt his forward tilt is a disjointed hitbox it's pretty it's not it's not a good move but you're going to be using it a lot just because of its disjointed hitbox and it has a, a decent amount of range and it comes out pretty quickly and it catches roll but there's one thing that needs to be fixed and that is its kill power your opponent can be at 180 percent at the ledge 
and you will hit them with a forward tilt while they're recovering and they will still live at like 180% and it'll be like Pikachu or something. A real lightweight. Like that move does not have any kill power whatsoever. You will only kill with that move if you have bad DI. And that just really, really hurts that move's actual usability. Because you, you will use it a lot because it's a good move. But it will never ever kill. Which means your opponents are going to be at 180% against DDD. Which should never happen. But other than that, um, they fixed Ice Climbers. Which I won in. Um... I'd be interested to see if they any if they buff any characters. I would love to see them, um, like I said before, uh, get rid of the Luigi Zero to Death. It is essentially wobbling, and I do not like it at all. Similar to like Ice Climbers in Melee. Obviously, it's not as rampant because it isn't 100% true on every single character like uh, actual wobbling is. But it is still a form of wobbling. If you haven't seen the video by Mewtwo King, I go suggest watching it, where he talks about the similarities between that ice climbers wobbling and luigi wobbling uh but i think they should maybe nerf rob he's a little too oppressive online um they probably won't nerf sonic and ness right after they nerf right after they buffed him so i wouldn't be expecting any of that but um what kind of buffs do you guys want for this patch obviously they might just do steve stuff this might be a whole we might be making this a whole big thing when it's really not they are just doing this to fix steve but this is kind of uncanny. Usually they would wait until maybe the next patch. Maybe they saw something that we haven't seen that is urgent for them to fix. Or maybe they just saw all the Steve stuff and decided that he is too overpowered. Or he does not function the way they wanted him to function. But yeah, what do you guys think? Leave your suggestions and your character requests in the comments down below. I'd be interested to see which of you guys think your characters need buffs. And if, even if you, you guys think your character needs nerfs. But um, with that all out of the way, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will see you guys in the next one.